Hi all, welcome back to the shop. I'm Steven. Uh, today I will share with you the, the final result of uh, all the job transferring hole we made regarding the internal plates. And uh, <coughs> you can see that uh, it's a lot of work for a uh, you know, very small amount of plates. And there is only two plates. And uh, the number of screw I have to, to drill and tap is uh, 23. But uh, regarding the stiffness of the colon, uh, we will gain uh, this job is something very critical and um, it will be important to avoid uh, any kind of vibration during the machining. And uh, <coughs> the purpose of the heavy duty uh, is to make, is to able to make some uh, steel machining and some very strong um, uh, machining application. So that's why the, stif the stiffness is something critical. And I think that uh, the machine itself is uh, stiff enough, but I'm not sure that uh, um, <coughs> the support and the bench uh, will be, uh, uh, let's say, enough to support uh, the load and the vibration. And I guess uh, I would need to uh, secure the machine uh, close to the wall uh, but I will see in, in the future. Uh, but it could be the could be the case. Uh, so I, I will move the camera and show you the results of uh, all the uh, all the things, including inside the the colon at the back. And uh, uh, then I will share with you uh, the next step of the video this CNC. So let me move the camera. So you can see here it's the Z plates. So uh, the one that was uh, receiving the internal plate so there is two internal plates one at this position and one at this one so uh, there is four screw at the top you can see the right side so there is eight screw uh, for the two plates so it's a pretty big job to make all, all the stuff and uh, on the left side as you can see here there is also uh, eight screw to maintain the internal plates and to create a very big stiffness like this one and if I unzoom you can see that the column is something very big uh, a lot of stiffness there is a lot of screw I guess there is a screw uh, each 12 or 14 inch inches so uh, it gives a big thickness uh, a big thick uh, stiffness, sorry, and the thickness of the plates are three quarters of an inch. And if we go in the back, the CNC machine, you can see here the back plate here. Um, those one, the previous one, the bottom one <coughs> with uh, all the holes that are getting inside the CNC machine. And uh, <coughs> you can see on the back there is uh, three holes that are, uh, that are inside uh, the internal plates. And if we go inside the machine, you can see here all the work done. And on the top, <coughs> there is some free space. And uh, the motor for the Z axis will be here inside and will be protected from the chip and uh, the outside is the way where it will uh, go so far for this part of the job everything is done there is a two or three uh, you know missing uh, screw that uh, I just have to put like this one and also like this one here <coughs> that it's only a uh, and you know it's only a screw to put back and uh, <coughs> not very it will be a uh, very easy to do it so the next step of the cnc is to prepare um the table so the table uh, will sit uh, on the bed here and uh, the plate is already arrived so the, the plate is here and you can see it's quite a big plate uh, <coughs> it's maybe three three foot uh, length, and uh, you know this plate is three quarter of an inch. It was machined uh, on all the six faces, and uh, 
if you only put the plate uh, like this one, uh, if you put any kind of load and machine operation, the plate will bend. So I will add, you know, those kinds of things. It's a uh, three quarters of plate, and I, I will put some screw inside to reinforce the table, and so the stiffness of the table uh, will be very big. And uh, also those those plates will cover in the linear rail that will get inside of these plates. So <clears throat> the next job uh, will be to make the machining operation for uh, well, this, uh, this big boy and uh, also to put some linear rails. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.